Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the VigorTime VT18. This is a do-it-yourself LED bicycle kit. You can find this selling on Amazon for $9.99. represents a fun bargain to get some practice done on your soldering skills. So let's check it out. The Vigor Time. It looks pretty cool if I pick it up. Uh, I like doing these to kind of help you guys out with learning soldering. Because you're going to want to build a radio like I do on this channel. And you need some practice. So there are some of you that are just getting started and this is perfect. Maybe for a second kit. Uh, your first one probably should be the Alenco kit, and I'll have that up there. Cool thing about the Alenco kit is it comes with a soldering iron, uh, everything you need to get going, side cutters. You can use that stuff for future projects, not just what's in the box. So that is cool. And that's why you go to something like this for maybe a secondary kit and have some fun. It's only 10 bucks, so there you go. And Amazon, you get it right away. Let's open this up and see what we get inside. Right away, I'm seeing LEDs. There's going to be a lot of them. That's the good practice part. All right, we got the battery compartment. We got the main PCB. Very cool. But oh, running bicycle. Awesome. It's got acceleration and deceleration. So that'll be interesting animation of the LEDs. I'm thinking that's pretty fun. And then we got a components list right here. All right. So, okay, let's check this out. See what we get. So there's an illustration. There is a schematic diagram. If you guys are nerd enough to know what that means, <laughs> don't expect you to really study that, but there you go. Doop -a -doop. Always fun to have that. You know, they're good about their instructions, which is fantastic. There you go, nice little principle overview. Tools you may need. I'll show you what I like to use typically when I build these kits. Here's your component list showing what's there. Nice. To give you some soldering and installation steps. And yes, we say soldering in the United States, and in Britain they say soldering. Solder. Or solder. <laughs> There's some history behind that, I believe. I watched the video, believe it or not. Because people kept correcting me. I'm like, wait a minute, I've always said solder. Why do we say solder? <laughs> Instead of solder. Anyway, there you go. Pretty simple uh, build right there. Okay, so yeah, we got that. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look up close. We got the LEDs here, three millimeter, quite a few of them. Um, the components say, how many do we get? We get uh, 38 of them, sweet. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. So if you think about it, that's 38 times two solder points. So that's a lot of practice right there for your soldering skills. We get two momentary switches. There's one in there and one up here. And we have the, looks like a two, what is that, uh, AAA? Two AA, two AAA. Yep, two AAA battery bay and it has two leads. And it's kind of cool, they show it as the stand as well. They show this battery holder going on the back and then kind of on an angle so it can show off your project. And look at the PCB itself, pretty straightforward. On the back, it's got some surface mount components already installed for you, and even the switch. Oh, that's nice. Very cool. So you're going to be putting in all these LEDs here, and the switches there. Of course, note orientation of the LEDs. I don't know if they show it. They don't really show it on the front. Uh, let's see if they show it on the back here. They do. They show positive and negative. Uh, and it's pretty simple on a LED, and I'll show you really quick, since that's pretty much what this can... This stuff is just LEDs. And then uh, I'll show you the kind of tools I use and then I'll break away and come back with a finished product. So let's go ahead and show you. So this typical LED, you have an anode and a cathode. Your anode's positive, the longer lead, and your short one is negative. So just keep that in mind. And I believe if I can get really close, one side is flat, that's your negative side, and one side is rounded, that's your positive side. Hopefully you can see that flat side and positive. So yeah, and then you just, uh, we'll figure out which way it goes. So positive, you'd be putting that long lead this way. So I can get in there on camera. It's hard to do on camera. There you go. And 
that's how you're going to put it in. Now you can put a little tension, like I like to do this. I just pull these to the side a little bit to hold the LED in place. What I'll do is I'll solder one leg in, or solder. <laughs> I love saying that. It sounds weird saying solder. Um, and I'll take my iron, and I'll, uh, you know, this will be like on the bench, of course, and I'll have a little solder uh, in my hand, and I'll apply heat right here to the pad and to the leg. <clears throat> Let me get close. Apply heat here and bring the solder in from the left hand side and let it wick in there just a little bit. Now you don't want to spend too much time, so just like this and done. And you know, I'm not going to like show soldering on this, it's very simple, very straightforward. Just practice with your practice kit until you get good at it. Uh, so, those tools I'm going to use, let's show you that. So, let's set this stuff aside, go to the tools. Uh, let me get a piece of cardboard. There we go. I always like to work to protect my table. Uh, so I like to use uh, diagonal pliers here. This is to bend the legs if you want to use this. I use my hands, but a lot of people prefer using the tool. Just be real careful how much pressure you're using. These are really nice thing. You pick these up on Amazon pretty cheap, a couple bucks probably. Um, these are really nice to have. These are your flush cut uh, to cut off the component legs. These are nice cutters. I like these. It's a Zeron brand made in USA. Beautiful, these will last you forever. Just make sure you're cutting soft component legs. Don't cut anything stainless steel or it'll ruin the cutters. So there you are. Got that uh, solder, the solder I like to use, or solder I like to use. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that, to drive you guys nuts. The, the British, definitely. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, lead-based um, solder with the rosin core. Um, this is really good. I actually prefer this over lead-free solder. Uh, lead free is just a pain to use, so I'll stick with the lead. You just wash your hands when you're done if you're worried about lead poisoning or anything like that. You're not going to have a problem. I've soldered a long time with lead stuff, and I don't think I'm going crazy yet. So <laughs> I've been soldering since I was a teenager. Yeah, and I'm getting old. <laughs> but yeah, I use that. What else do I got going on? Yeah, in case I make a mistake, I got some uh, desoldering braid. This stuff's fantastic. Uh, this will last a long time. Where's the 10 foot? Yeah, I got 10 foot of this stuff. Um, this is good to have on hand. Kind of expensive, but worth just in case you make a mistake. Put this on your area. You want to suck up the solder, put your heat on there, and it removes the solder for you real easily. Yeah, good to have. And then last but not least, I like to inspect my joints using a five, well, this is a 10 power, a 10 power loop. Um, you can really see up close what's going on with your board. You can look for defects, uh, bad uh, solder joints, things like that. So. Nice thing to have on hand. So there you are. So that's pretty much what I like to use. And of course the iron. Um, iron of choice is this fancy one. This is a Hako, uh, I think this is a FX951. Don't quote me on that. I think it is. Yeah, it's a higher end one. Uh, you don't have to buy uh, two $300 iron to solder with. You can actually just get like a $50 iron. I don't think these are 50 anymore, but or if they even sell this one, but a Weller. Well, there's a good brand. Uh, this is WP25. I had this for a long time, as you can see, it's wearing out. But uh, I've used this a ton. This is my main go-to iron for many, many years. And uh, you have a foam grip here. And I use this for everything. So 25-watt um, iron is all you really need for these projects. And yeah, so if you want to pick up an iron like that, you're rocking. So there we are. Okay, so let's bring the stuff back into frame. And then... We'll go break away to build this thing. So yeah, take that little LED out. So I don't see any problem putting this together. This looks very straightforward for a beginner kit. And then you'll be on your way to building awesome radios. Uh, Vo uh, Vigor Time or Vogar Time, same company. Uh, they actually have some uh, radio kits as well. And I'll have in the iCard section. If you want to check out one, I built one with a stereo. Had two speakers. It's fantastic radio. Uh, that's a fun one to build. It has AM and FM, and the AM reception is great. So definitely check out that radio kit if you're looking to build a radio. So there's that. We have our instructions. We're ready to rock. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, they actually have, I think, a contact information. Yeah, I forgot to show it to you. So if you have a question or you're missing a component, definitely uh, contact them. They're really cool about getting back to you. So there you go. I don't know if I showed you all that. Did I show you all that? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, yep, I'll break away here, fade to black. I'm going to come back with the thing built because I don't think I need to have pictures of the build process. It's just about 
adding 38 LEDs, two switches, and the battery box. I mean, it's that basic. We'll come back, we'll demo it, and I'll give you final thoughts on this little project. Okay, be right back. I call him Lance. Rockin. It's done. There it is. A little bit of work involved. I'd say it takes about 45 minutes if you're quick. About an hour total if you're taking your time. Cool project. I like it. Right now I got it propped up so the camera can pick it up nicely. As you can see, it's got animated wheels. Loving it. He's going slow speed. He's going uphill. <laughs> and then he can go downhill by acceleration. So it's got four modes. I think it's on its lowest right now. Hit the buttons in the front to change the speed. I just got it propped up right now here so you can see it. Get the second speed. Okay, that might have been the th okay. So I think that's the fastest. Let's see. Oh, there's the fastest. Go Lance, go Lance. <laughs> I thought about that name. I'm like, hey, it's Lance. But uh, yeah, it's rocking. It's just fun thing. So let's go ahead and lower this down. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> right, let's move that out of the way. So there it is, the VT. 18 running bicycle. Pretty cool. I think that makes a really neat fun project that you can put on display. It stands with the battery holder. Yeah, quickly talk about the build. Pretty simple. Like I said, it wasn't hard at all. You just put two switches in there. Those just press in and there's four solder points. And then you got the LEDs. Just no polarity like I mentioned earlier in the video. And uh, yeah, put them in. I did one at each time. Sometimes you could probably go a little quicker. Um, yeah, sometimes they're going to line up perfect, sometimes they're not. You know, it's oh, it just depends on the LEDs. Sometimes the LEDs aren't perfect, but uh, these seem pretty straight. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's go flip it over. You can see the back. Now, the battery was a little harder to get this. You had to bend these wires up, and those wires are pretty tough. So uh, you could use those pliers I showed you, like those diagonal pliers, to bend them up. That's what I did. Or you could put it on a flat surface, hard surface, and bend them up together so they're evenly bent. And that's kind of how you're going to want it. So there's your battery holder. And that's the direction of the wire. So that's kind of the angle you want of your wires for your battery bay. And then you'll get that nice stand on it, which is cool. And I got two AAAs in there. And, of course, it has an on-off switch right there as well, so you can turn it off, which I will show you. I didn't have to solder that on. That was already included. Remember that? And that turns that off. Uh, so, yeah, the, probably the most difficult thing was the battery uh, holder, putting that in, uh, getting the right angle, and then soldering it. I had to solder it from the front, and then I soldered it from the back just for added security. Don't know if you need to or not. Just wanted to make sure I got enough solder on the joints. So that's how I did it. And then you can clean up the front with some isopropyl alcohol. I used 91% with Q-tips. That works pretty good came off real nice. So if you get some that rosin core from the solder, you can clean it up pretty easy. But there we are, a little close up of the front and those buttons. Neat. And the back. So overall for $9.99, a fun little kit to build from Vigor Time. Vigor Time always comes through with these cool little kits. Um, classy, something different. Um, I am enjoying it. Uh, worth it. Totally worth the practice. Um, yeah. So if you're looking for fun, uh, second kit, uh, if you're a cyclist or you know somebody that is, this would be a cool gift to make for them or make for yourself. Uh, this is great for a kid, too. Uh, you, you know, If you know somebody that wants to learn to solder and he's a youngster, uh, what a way to introduce him into the hobby. So there it is. The Vicar Time VT18 gets a thumbs up for being simple and fun and easy to practice on. Uh, everything's clearly marked. Good instructions. Yeah. Uh, just want to let you know, though, no extra parts. So <laughs> usually you get an extra LED once in a while. Uh, in these kits, but not this one. This one had exactly what was marked. So, yeah, be real careful, um, but you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward kit, so there you are. So if you enjoyed this video, give a big like. Hope you did. Uh, two, if you like this kit uh, and you want to see more, definitely subscribe at the bell icon and get notified of future videos. And, of course, check out my Vigor Time videos, especially the one, the radio kits. I think you'll have fun building your first radio if you haven't built one already. Uh, it's always fun to build your own radio and listen to it and say, hey, I made that. It's kind of a cool thing. And, of course, this will be your road there. <laughs> no pun intended. But, uh, yeah, definitely. And then comment below what you think about this little running bicycle. Is something fun, something you would want to pick up, build with somebody, build yourself? You know, let me know. I think the price is okay, $9.99, shipped to your door in a day. So, yeah, I'll have links below in the paid link section if you want to pick one up, support the channel. Awesome. I think I get a quarter, <laughs> quarter or 30 cents, something like that. 
So there you go. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.